you got married uh, in Jamaica in 2003. So, Tess, you were 33 at the time, and both of you <clears throat> just wanted to start a family. In fact, I think you came off the pill before you went out there, hoping yes. that you might be pregnant coming home. Yeah, that was our dream, to come back with a baby and in of my course, tummy. It didn't work out like that, did it? No. <clears throat> and you tried to, to naturally conceive, and it wasn't working out for you. You did many tests, and you, you'd qualified for one round of IVF on the NHS. Yeah, we got a free go and did that, and that was unsuccessful. Um, it wasn't too bad at the time because we were quite excited. Oh, it might work. Yeah. That didn't work, so we went for another round of IVF, and um, we paid for that one. And unfortunately, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, then we went um, to a different fertility place mm -hmm. up in London and had all the tests under the sun including one blood test that cost, cost £900, had to be sent to Chicago. Wow. That was for a high immune system. Yeah. They thought I had a, a high like immune... £15,000 all told, wasn't it? Yes. Thing? Yeah, it was it quite a... So you've got the expense chunk. of that, which is why you'd have paid anything to have, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. have a baby. But what was it like for you guys? Um, heartbreaking. Uh, stressful. It's not a very nice... Um, it's not a nice... Um, experience going through IVF really yeah. with Neil injecting me and <clears throat> um, it just wasn't very nice was it? No, no, it's no. And stressful. Yeah. Of course and then you get this heartbreaking news that actually the, the quality of your eggs are, are similar to somebody that would be going through the menopause. Yes. And that's kind of <clears throat> for you both then no matter how much money you're going to throw at this situation the chances of you conceiving are, are just yeah not looking yeah. good the fertility the doctor at the time said you might as well forget it ivf isn't going to work um you haven't really got many eggs left um so we had to stop and that was our full stop on it and we drew the line in the sand and then i I crashed and burned. Mm. Um, well, you really distanced yourself from anybody and everybody, didn't I you? I did. Um, all my friends' family were having babies at the time, and I love kids, mm. but I, I, I felt really um, heartbroken. And um, Well, you thought about mm. surrogacy, perhaps, um, and, uh, and maybe thinking that uh, adoption might be an option, and then that wasn't right for you, so you actually looked towards fostering. Yes. It was something completely different, but it was still with children, because we're great with kids. <laughs> and um, we went down that road. We got trained up as foster carers. Um, it was very, very, very rewarding yeah. and very hard work. Um, it, it didn't fill the void, but it was a different void. Yeah. So we'd moved on and we thought, we won't have children, but we're going to be... Give something. Yes. And do something and become yes. parents in another exactly. way. Exactly. So, 46 now, and you're getting symptoms, um, menopausal symptoms. Um, you'd already had, I think, around 40, you'd already had the test at the doctors that said you were going through an early menopause. Mm -hmm. And you went and were put on HRT, weren't you, to, to, yes. to help with those symptoms? All my hot, hot flushes and night sweats. Yeah. Um, they were lovely. Yes, yes. <laughs> so the yes. HRT patches worked, and then you began to feel unwell again yes. and went back for a scan because this is where the C word was mentioned. This is where, yes. <laughs> and so, so if you, you're th that's, uh, the, the doctor is saying this is actually, you have all the signs of ovarian cancer. I'm going to send you for an emergency scan <clears throat> and um, expect bad news. So I, I went oh to the God. scan, Neil was on uh, a home with the foster kids. I went on my own, the nurse was holding my hand uh, the sonographer said, um, your ovaries look fine. Uh, do you want to have a look at this? And turned it around and there was Molly. Oh, my gosh. And Molly's waving in that picture, I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, I mean, an actual miracle. Yeah. Because I, I this said, medically uh, shouldn't happen. No. I said, is that mine? <laughs> oh my God. And what was brilliant was that you were about three and a half months pregnant. Yeah, so, it's so you'd gone through all the scary bit without yeah, even knowing you'd absolutely. gone through all the scary bit. Yeah. yeah. She was in there. It was meant to be. We'd done something right along the line. And I imagine you rang him straight away and told no, him. No, I was really mean. <laughs> I drove back from the hospital, parked up on the driveway, and I was smirking. <laughs> and uh, Neil was met me at the, at the front door saying, what, Are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, It's, it's not cancer. I've got a baby in my tummy. Oh. Oh my God. And I just left him on the front porch. <laughs> on the 12th, fair, of, uh, 12th of January this Mouth year, uh, along comes Molly, and we've got her She's actually. Here. here she comes. She's with our friend. And uh, <laughs> you told us this morning, because Phil's got a Molly. Molly means. Miracle. Miracle. It's Miracle Molly. Hello, Molly. Oh, hi there. 
there. <laughs> there you go, Chicky Pie. Hello. Say, look, this is this is Holly. Hi, this Holly. Is so also, I mean, really, uh, uh, when you get a little older in life, you get a little settled. You know, you weren't expecting this much as you'd always dreamed of it. It's yeah. a bit of a shock. Yes, yeah, she's supposed to be fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Not eight months. <laughs> and so you must just look at her. I mean, when you're doing those night feeds and you're there, you must just look at her and go. Where did you come? You yeah. really weren't meant to be We're here. We're still in shock, and I still look at her in the mirror and catch us myself with her, and I'm like, we, we made her all by ourselves, <gasps> um, aged 47, <laughs> aged 52. <laughs>